Nitwittians, we got an awesome Legion T5 video for you this evening. We are going to be throwing an RTX 3080 in this bad mamma jamma, and we are going to make this thing smoking. It's going to be awesome. So I'm going to show you the benchmarks really quick with the stock 1660 Super, and let's jump over to on screen here. We scored 6,137, no surprise there. Of course, it's, uh, it's a 1660 Super. And our first FPS score was 38.43, and our second was 33.71. All right, guys, get your side panel off, get everything unplugged, get it powered down, and meet me here for doing an upgrade. Of course, if you haven't upgraded the power supply with this guy, you, I only came with 400 watt, you're going to want to look at doing that, just an FYI. So I've already done that. I have a video out on that. And if you're wondering about it, go ahead and search under my videos and you can find that there. Of course, we're back here. We did have to remove a fan to allow this GPU to fit. Just an FYI, there is an EVGA RTX 3080 that's 11.81 uh, inches that will fit here with the fan already in here. But that, I didn't make you guys have to suffer through it, but I already took the fan if you could see here. But anyways, we are going to get into this upgrade and we are going to get this RTX 3080 installed. It is the Gigabyte variant. I'm going to say it's the one brand that I dislike out of all GPUs. Try to stay away from Gigabyte. But if it's your only option, I guess go for it. Um, but of course, guys, let's get this GPU pulled out and let's see what this thing can do with an RTX 3080. So of course, come down here and the first thing you're going to come and do is go ahead and unplug your power wire, which is this guy right here. I like to try to unsnap this while this is still screwed in. So if you guys can see this, this little snap right here, I like to unsnap this while it's still in here and it shouldn't move as long as you don't push down on the graphics card too much. So we're gonna come here and now we are gonna grab our two screws and we already have all the cables disconnected from this guy. So there's nothing plugged into her, even though she does like it when stuff is plugged into her. Um, of course, go ahead and grab from the bottom of the back of the GPU, way down in the front, go ahead and pull. That is our 1660 Super out. Go ahead and grab our Gigabyte RTX 3080. And we're gonna have to hold some wires here because they're, it is kind of a tight fit. So go ahead and put these wires so they're up and out of the way. Kind of Jumanji with my other hand here. Get that in there. Let those fall. And let's get her slotted. And push till you hear it click. If not, you can come here and you can kind of pull this forward a little bit. There we go. It's now locked in there and we are gonna replace our screws. Wow, does that really take up a lot of the case space. Go ahead and lift up on the GPU just a tad. Okay guys, now we have two of our power wires here. FYI, if, you're, if you don't have this power supply already upgraded in here, you're probably gonna to wanna to look at a 750 or an 850 watt if you're gonna be doing uh, an RTX 3090 or 3080 or a 3080 Ti. Go ahead and snap our first power cable in. We're combining our six plus twos and go ahead and snap your second one in if your cable is uh, orientated right. Nitwit, why are you such a nitwit? There we go. And just double check on the top up here. Come here and look if you can see that there's no gap right here, that it's fully flush and that's fully flush. We don't want those in the fans, so kind of tuck these under here for airflow. And then go ahead and replace your power wires, your side panel, and meet me back for a benchmark, y'all. Nidwittians, we just got done running this benchmark, and it scored an awesome 14,874. We're going to jump over to the on-screen quick here. And the first thing you're going to see is this is an uh, actual web page. And what's kind of cool about this is I'll have this link down in the description down below for both of these graphics cards independently, and you can look at the scores that both of these got. So let's jump over to the actual 3D Mark Time Spy score. And there we go, same thing. This is, uh, you know, our score is 14,874. And our first graphics test score was 116.67. Uh, that is verse 38.43 with the 1660. And of course, our second was 99.30, and that is verse 33.71 with the 1660 Super. Our 1660 Super scored a 6,137 versus the 14,874. Uh, let's just take a look at what our FPS is in a couple different games would be. Battlefield 5, we're looking at 165 frames plus. Apex Legends is 140 frames plus. GTA 5 is 100 frames plus. Fortnite is 140 plus. And Red Dead Redemption, the GPU killer. Oh shit, we got a blue screen of death. Oh. What the f Gotta love Windows 10, guys. Or sorry, gotta love Windows 11. 
Guys, this is what happens when you have a gigabyte card. This is why I do not like these cards. So after rebooting from our blue screen of death, which I'm pretty sure, about 100% sure it was caused by this gigabyte card, not that it's an RTX 3080. RTX 3080 is are perfectly fine from Nvidia. Be aware of how crappy gigabyte is. Anyways, we're gonna look at Red Dead Redemption one last time and that's 70 frames plus. Uh, the RTX 3080 is probably the best sweet spot for gaming. If you wanna spend the dollars, to have some awesome gaming, at least 4K gaming, or even 1440p gaming on Ultra, the RTX 3080 is where it's at. The extra VRAM on the GPU, uh, the 3090, can help with doing some 4K stuff uh, or content creation. But if, even if you're looking for the sweet spot for content creation, the RTX 3080 is gonna be the bee's knees. It's gonna be that sweet, honey flavor in your mouth that just makes you go young. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments about this upgrade or any other upgrades that I've done on TechNetWit, go ahead and throw them down below. I like talking to my community. You guys are important. You're the reason I do this. Anyways, I'm TechNetWit and I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I'm out y'all.